Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new plane edit with a game called At The Gates or as it's now known, John Schaefer's At The Gates. John Schaefer, if you don't know, he was the uh, head designer of Civilization V. So um, if you think Civ V did some things right, you can probably thank him. If you think Civ V did a lot of things wrong and it's first time, you can probably blame him as well. But this is At The Gates. It's his game. Well, it, it was him... Uh, another programmer and uh, an artist. Uh, there were three people at Con for Games when the Kickstarter began. Oh, what was it? five years ago? Man, this thing has been in development for quite some time. I haven't really kept up with the development process. I just know that it, out of nowhere, well, last month, uh, Schaefer now said, "Yeah, it's coming. It's it's almost done." And hell, oh, it's it's here. This is version 0.992. And it's a release candidate. It's not yet done. It now, uh, well, previously, for some reason, it, uh, well, I couldn't move my units anymore. Now it works. This is a preview version of the game, so it, it, it's not version 1.0 yet. It's almost there. I'm recording this about half a week before this, uh, the embargo drops, I guess. It's uh, Saturday for me, and the embargo drops on Thursday. No, on Wednesday, so you're probably going to see this on Thursday. And, uh, uh, well, this is a Forex game. It's a game like John Schaefer made, you know, with Civilization V. He also worked on uh, one of the elemental games, I believe, uh, from Stardock. And it's it's a Forex game. So if you know anything about Forex games, you know that getting to their core, understanding them, takes bloody ages. And I sadly don't have the bloody ages I used to have to dig into games and dig deep and reveal all the secrets so this may be a bit of a, uh, a first look at the game well, it's not a first look. I, I've played it for several hours so far but it is a game that is uh, slow it's they even say it, it, it is slow it, it's it, that is, that's one of its features it, it's a slow game that doesn't really mold to the, uh, the way that the forex game works uh, instead it, it well it, it, it does have the mechanics it, of a forex game, but it um, it approaches them from the um, the side of a rogue like 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 game almost. You expect it to fail repeatedly, uh, start a new game in a different map, different world, different conditions, different everything, different characters. They're different. Every nothing's gonna be the same apart from the uh, civilization, the, the, the tribe that you choose. For example, the gods. The gods are the first ones you, sp you begin you begin, <laughs> you begin with. Only after you, uh, well, the unlock the faction mystery of one alliance with its leader or conquer its capital while playing as a different faction. You can only unlock the other ones as you, well, find and defeat them through the world. The, the idea of the game is that this, as you can see behind me, this is Rome. This is the Roman Empire. These are the Roman ships. This is Rome, as it once was. And at the gates, there's us. Well, us, the tribes. We're the invaders. We're, we're the ones knocking at the gates to tear down Rome, to usher in the end of its enlightened age. Well, Rome had a lot of problems. It was collapsing on its own due to stupidity and... Other stuff, but the um, the idea is that you're not playing. You're not playing as the empire. You're playing as the little thing that's going sort of akin, in a way, to uh, what's its name, the um, the, the, the sovereign king, the uh, the the elemental game that was uh, like he had a doomsday clock and stuff. I, th I think Schaefer worked on it actually. Uh, anyway, well, let's begin with the gods. They have uh, some bonuses to starting resources and not much else. I have to say, I really dig the art style. It reminds me a bit of old, the old Civilization 2. Man, remember that one? Remember how pretty it looked? How beautiful back in the days when you could run things in the window. Oh, man. Remember windows. Like... Actually using windows, scalable windows for video games. I miss that time, man. Now everything's full screen and it's 3D and it runs like this, even though some games don't need it, but... Yeah, I kind of miss that age. I should probably do a show about it if I ever have it. I, I won't have it. Hey, Steven, if you're watching this, do a show about 
how uh, you know games should used to run in Windows starting from the days of the Mac and the Amigas and all that stuff. So what's the deal with the game? Well, you start here with a, with a village. And in the village you have these, these, these clans. You started with three of them. Well, this one. We have the uh, Clan Raymond. Yeah, that's right. We're Clan Raymond. What of it? That mean that name mean something to you? You'd uh, you'd better catch your you'd better. Uh, uh, I think I'm playing as a drunk. Raymond's drunk people, drunk and archish, which is the same thing. Okay, yes, yeah, sorry about that. So uh, each clan has their own trait. Uh, for example, traits actually two of them. Clan Raymond is easily cold, looking likely to get quite upset with a f within a few months of being unable to spend the winter inside a settlement or as the resident of a structure. And they are intimidating, so they are mean drunks. <laughs> Nor the clan entire may commit crimes, uh, never engages in feuds with other clans. This is... This is... Um, a forex game approached via a rogue like 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 game and also the sims it's a strange com it's actually i would say it's, it's sort of uh what's his face the king of dragon pass as a 4x almost because these people the your your existence depends on them just like it did on the uh, the tribal leaders used to set in king of dragon pass but it's um you have more direct control over them, but uh, their uh, traits will uh, will uh, change things. Clan Hroderick. Sure, we agree to join your tribe, but we're gonna do what things our way. Got it? I probably I'll probably forget their accents, but uh, we have um, perceptive meaning that. Uh, well, let's explain things easier. Uh, each clan, even though they're supposed to be a clan like a lot of them, there's just one unit, so. It's Hodrick. Their perceptive, so any unit made with uh, their clan, uh, the one unit made with their one clan, will have plus one division. Range. So these guys would be uh, quite useful as uh, scouts, but they are obstinate. Training time doubled in honor, meaning probably not warriors, hunters, stuff like that, watchmen. Experience getting all the spawns reduced by one quarter, so meaning that they're. And uh, they don't have desires. Your clan people will have desires, things they want to fulfill, like. Not dying in the frost, or eating, or kicking somebody else out of the clan. Might very rarely feud, engage in a mild feud with other clans in the same tile. So you should probably keep him away from uh, other clans. And then we have Clan Sorel. <laughs> there is a song. Oh, how did it go? Las vezes kum va pe Sorel. Uh, it was about a guy named Sorel who was um, bald and really cool. It was like a song by the band Casa Loco back in their, their, their debut heyday. Back when when I first saw for the first time an audio CD and I just blew my mind. Like you could listen to the same song. Not even rewind the theme. No, no, no. You could listen to the same song again and again and again and it knows you. That thing just changed my perspective on reality. So we have Clan Sorel. Uh, weeks of stale trail rations have deepened our appetite. Open your cupboards and let us see what you have to quench it. These are trappers, meaning that they're really good at trapping things. They they start with a profession. I'm going to get a profession soon. And uh, they will get upset if you uh, give them professions outside of working with livestock. And they eat a lot. See, this is our food. It's going down. We need to get more. This is our, our goal. It's not all that important at first. And this is our fame, our score. Actually, not, not, not our fame, our score. Minus the furry turning tribe is starving. Place due for culture. Yes, that's all right. uh, oh, yeah, we, we we get the points for killing Romans. <laughs> okay, so let's let's get into this. So we have a new clan. So let's... Uh, we can actually get this guy to leave. And... Well, not to leave the clan, but to get him to leave. And maybe, 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 maybe... Get him to, uh, that's the thing I should explore, needs to explore. Maybe we can find some, uh, some animals that he can, uh, see. So this guy was kind of a bastard to keep around as a simple, as somebody in the class. So I'm going to turn him into an explorer. It's going to take two turns to, to train him. And during those two turns, this village cannot do anything. Now, I haven't gotten as deep enough in the game to know that, uh, to know if you can make more than one village. I know you can move this. Well, it's immobilized right now, but uh, 
you can pack it up and move it around. So it's you're not stuck in one position. And you do have a tech tree. This is your knowledge screen. It's a tech tree, sort of like uh, well, like you would have in a forex. So let's research livestock and give uh, give this. Actually, oh, I have to move him back to the village. Yeah, I kind of shot myself in the foot there. That's okay. I'm gonna go back to the village. Gonna get him to go back there and gonna bump up his uh, livestocking uh, talent. No, no, no. Cancel that. One thing I like about this game. You can totally. Like do um, you can put let's see new client joined, but yeah uh, okay, give him plus two now he has five. We have a new clan, who is Faramod. He is riverman, meaning he does not need extra time to cross rivers, and he is handy. Starts with a level three crafting. Yeah, that's good. Level three crafting is good because we're gonna need him to chop down trees to get. Resources to build things. New clan join. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, study profession. Now we have that. We uh, what's on the map? Probably gonna need some forgers there. Uh, study profession. We have a gatherer, so we're gonna need a gatherer to get that uh, that thing there. Train a soldier? Not yet. Uh, Mill working may be useful. Firstly, firstly, I'm mm, yeah, I'm gonna get agriculture because I'm gonna need somebody to actually uh, get us food. But first, you're gonna get the uh, the explorer up and running. Uh, it takes some time between turns. Uh, it, it's probably gonna get even worse with time. We have a demanding paranoid right now. We have uh, Ask and we'll be moving in for now. For how long? Paranoid. Uh, plus one to vision, minus one to moving. May very rarely engage in feuds. And demanding likelihood of desires tripled and becomes. Immediately be becomes angry if a desire uh, has yet to be granted. Obsessed with every desire. Yeah, we should probably keep this guy somewhere. I think I'm gonna put him to work. Okay, clan idle. Yes, this clan is idle. Let's so let's get him to go here. Uh, your explorer finds a barely legible map revealing the desert deserted locations nearby. So we have more information about uh, the nearby uh, surroundings, which is a good thing to have. Should also go here now. Hey, like I said, you can put uh, you can put notes on everything. That includes characters. For example, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go. Uh, let's see. Right click on this wood guy. So remember, this is the wood guy. Always the wood guy. This guy. Uh, let's see. What should I get to you? Maybe metal dude. See, that's a metal dude. And you, what should I do to you? Uh, in some cases, you will see that, I guess you could see in this one as well, maybe. You will see that some uh, some clan members will refuse, outright refuse to work in certain uh, conditions. I mean, certain jobs. You're going to be, uh, what you're going to be, uh, so we have a miner, we have a metal dude. Huntsman. Hunt, 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 he huntsman into action is his cry. Uh, yeah, I should probably even go find some man and mules around here somewhere, dude. Switch disciplines. Yeah, you're, you're gonna um, trade profession. You're gonna collect wood. Settlement idol. I, no, no, wait, he, he's the agriculture dude. Professions. Uh, gatherer. Okay. Study profession. Uh, crafting should probably be useful. Okay. Come on. Come on. Move turns. Change turns. It's late May. It's very important to notice what month you're in. Okay, let's... Uh, who is this? This is, the, this is our farmer guy. Uh, thing guy. Forage. Okay, we're going to get food from there now. Uh, crafting. Kind of screwed this up a bit, haven't I? Okay, I'm gonna turn Metal Dude into Wood Dude. Wood Collector. I'm probably gonna have to change their uh, their little notes there. Clans of the Gods. E didn't I... Uh, did I say I was gonna... Wood this dude? I wooded, I wooded the dude. 
Uh, you go down there and see what's up. There are some enemies there, but I don't have any uh, anybody actually. I, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna invest in honor, just so I can uh, upgrade that guy to actually do something. Really, no, uh, no animals nearby. I got, I got a trapper and no animals. Well, this is kind of embarrassing. Again, it, it's it's a rogue like 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 type of affair where you'll never know exactly what you're gonna get. Have a new clan. Uh, okay, we have a handy. Good with crafting, so this is supposed to be the wood dude. Obsessive. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna make two uh, clans are idle. For each for parchment, no parchments. Yeah, clans are idle. Uh, you go down there. Switch disciplines. Uh, yeah, you're gonna get more than that. Profession hunter. Okie dokie, study a profession. Feast master or archer. Hmm. Or should we select something else? Should probably get a metal working. I actually don't have anybody working with metals at all. I'm actually actually what should I actually do? Mm, what should I research? Maybe loggers. So uh, the idea is that you can um, among your ruins of a village finds uh, diggers. Okay, we have diggers now. Cool. So we have we have uh, people that will actually be able to dig stuff, which is good. I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Oh yeah, the idea is that um, as your uh, technology tree progresses, you will have more sustainable um, more sustainable methods of gathering resources for example a wood collector will eventually deplete uh, the resource uh, the, the forest but a logger won't I mean if you construct uh, the uh, the thing you're the, the building out of uh, stone I mean you have to work a bit for sustainability I saw some rocks up here. Hopefully these guys will not attack. They seem like nice people. And we're gonna forge there. Like I said, the game is quite slow. But it is intriguing, especially in the uh, relationship that... in the dynamic re relationships that form between your own kin, your own clan's people, and... Uh, see, this stuff. Clan Faramod has become... So what did they do? What is up? They want to switch to crafting. Okay. Enter settlement. Train profession. Wood collector. There. Wish granted. You got them varmint. Now I'm gonna have to have everybody crafting and nobody actually getting food. We also have a caravan lying around. Uh, caravans will come from time to time and will uh, let you buy and sell resources. So you can even bribe them to uh, bring better goods or more goods next time. We could buy some weapons. I need five of them actually to get a warrior. Five. Yeah, that should be good. Clans are idle. Uh, this is a crafter. Mm, yeah, forage for wood. We're going to need a lot of wood. What is good, people? What is good? Actually, if I... Uh, I'm actually going to leave you here. Actually, I'm going to put you back in settlement because I want to train you as an archer. I'm going to have resources later on to do it. Roderick, okay, you... Um, maybe explore more? Oh, yeah, and we met uh, Samo of the Slavs. Pragmatic, Stoic, Aryan, Christian. You have religion as well. In the front, uh, greetings. I seek a fair and friendly. Okay, yeah, sure. Some of them will outright. Um, I told the Hun will outright demand stuff from him. I'm gonna give him. Uh, I'm gonna give him food. Food seems scarce, so it's it's good to have friends, or at least not have enemies. That's good. I kind of wish the uh, the turn times would be a bit faster. The things you're seeing right now, like this pop-up, that's the supply available from the rain. If your uh, units do not have supply, like for example, if they go here and they cannot get food from the terrain, they will eventually starve to death and die. And that's, ooh, finally found some uh, some things. Uh, identify deposit, I cannot do that. I have to go here 
and see what I can do with the, with the, um, the cows. Gonna have a logger soon. Stoic and curious. This should, this should be fine. Stoic. Mood is always content. Never has desires. Never engaged in views. That's a good person right there. A person that is uh, likely to get upset within a year, forced into a profession outside of discovery. So we're gonna have a second. Um, actually, having a second, what you call it, uh, thing with Bob would not be nice. Okay, this guy's happy now. So I'm gonna move in here to get him a wood. Clients are idle. Yeah, you go here. You know, you go. The the pathfinding is not what you will call superb, but it's 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 it works ish enough. You identify the deposit. It's gonna take four turns to figure out what that uh, that thing is there. And this guy's gonna move there. Right. So we have the uh, the huntsman. Hunt 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 his huntsman. Um, this guy's pro. I'm probably gonna make him a lore master or something. And you, you're a crafty bastard, so I'm gonna... Profession. Logger. Gonna be a logger. Where did I put that uh, discovery? Mm, yeah, probably actually make surveyors. Discovery. No, wait, wait, wait. Ah, damn it. Not discovery. Can I train archers? Yes, yeah, so it require five... Wo no, actually, then yeah. I can, I can make the archers, it's okay, it's okay. Actually, no, I had not researched the archer up until now. Now I have. Now I will actually research him in three turns. I'm gonna get some archers so I can probably kill these, the encamped um, bandits or whatever they are there. It's August currently. One more logger. Going there to get uh, more wood. Uh... You, I can't actually do anything with you right now. I'm gonna have to sit tight. Uh, actually, go go produce pressure. I can also train them in disciplines to get higher levels in their disciplines, so they'll uh, do better things. Harvest from a structure. The clients return to supply fort. Uh, for cloth. Let's go to the. No, 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 not that that way. Get them. Mm. Uh, the pathfinding can be quite, 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 quite irritating sometimes when the, you don't have the full map revealed and the DA yeah, will say, well, the shortest map is across the sea. Now, actually, that is the shortest uh, path, but not in the summer. In the winter, the seas will freeze, the, the water will freeze, which actually makes the game kind of, uh, kind of awesome. We'll go there. Go back home. Go there. Settlement idle, uh, make more treasure. We're gonna need it when the, uh, the thing comes back. Also, we're gonna need food, because all of y'all decided, oh, we want to craft things, but nobody wants to get the food, do they? <laughs> oh, why would you? You got them assholes. Logging camp, I don't have enough wood, do I? Oh, I, there needs to be no place I control. I control nothing with proper amounts of wood in it, so uh, you're kind of useless up there. Probably gonna be more useful down here, actually, when that thing comes into my uh, domain. But wow, that's actually a lot of wood. That is a lot of wood. Go forth and explore some more, my man. You. Archer. Llama! Studying. Uh, to, 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 to. Could probably make some uh, better use of these guys with weavers. No, no, no. Discovery. Yeah, I said I was gonna make a discovery up so I can turn a guy into a severe or something. And I'm gonna go kill those guys. Hopefully, achieve something useful that way. Maybe I don't, maybe they're standing on a mountain of resources there. Disgraced and impulsive. G. Likelihood of desire is doubled. He's useless to me, isn't he? Cannot be trained in social. Cannot be ennobled. Yeah, that's Adelmar. Adelmar has, uh, you may switch clans, this one to, uh, okay. You're gonna be, uh, the thing of Bob. We have, what kind of deposits? Ah, I missed it. Oh, coal deposits. Okay, so coal, coal is useful. We're gonna, 
we don't have heating actually in this uh, game currently or well, this level of technology but maybe we will soon this is the care we're gonna need to buy some food some goddamn f they don't sell food do they oh I just upgraded by accident I want one click more actually they do not sell food they're selling alcohol and oil and cloth and weapons and tools that I can later make in stone should I buy stone? Buy 749, not enough money actually. Study profession. Uh, surveyor would be actually useful. Surveyors are very useful because they, they can just go around and identify everything instead of you having to get the worker up there to identify something and then hope it's the thing you need. You can get the surveyor, they move faster, they are useless with uh, doing everything else actually. One thing I love is the way that the, the foliage changes on the. You know, the, the on the drawings of the, the trees as time goes on. That's just downright pretty. Uh, do we have... Yes, we have an archer. Okay, Mr. Archer, you're gonna go fight that guy and probably kill him and take his stuff. Profession... Not yet. Actually, gatherer. Yeah, you're gonna get us some food because otherwise you're gonna die. And like couple of seconds eh, can't do anything still don't have anything in the uh, the old oh we're gonna die of starvation soon can we kill any we don't have any horses to eat either oh this is gonna be awkward this is gonna be super awkward uh, I probably just killed my clan, haven't I? This is gonna be the last turn where we have food. Empty, yeah, the uh, the graphics all still have, aren't properly updated. You go there, start foraging, otherwise we will be dead. Actually, we, this is September. We're gonna be dead soon. Uh, like, nature is dying, y'all. It's, it's on its way out. Well, maybe that thing will save us. Uh, still no survey, so just just do some pressure and you skip it. Come on, give us some foods. I was counting on that caravan, but the caravan sold us out. Okay, we can now train surveyor. We have some food there. Clans are idle. Yeah, you're gonna skip it again. Skip it a bit of a new. Let's go to there and identify the deposit. I know it's a cow you can see from the moon. Get, why can't you... Why can't he uh, think there? Is that a good thing? Can I besiege them? I need a catapult actually to besiege them. Come on, come on, do it, do it. I'm not sure if they did it. Okay, profession, uh, you're gonna be a sir... I need tools to... Oh, I need tools for surveyors, I forgot I need tools. So you're gonna be a... Uh... Eh, just gonna sit there for a while. Sit pretty. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Yeah, just make some treasure, maybe uh, we'll, be, we'll be saved by the uh, incoming uh, caravan. If not, oh boy, we are in trouble. You can make galleys, you can make all sorts of stuff. Scribes, instructors, you know... Um, this is a big tech free with upgrades even. We can have upgrades to upgrades, so we'll have better things as time goes on. We can make, for example, farmers, but we don't have anything to farm currently. Well, there would be that, I guess, or this, but it's outside of my territory right now. As you can see, the uh, the mountains are getting a bit uh, snowy, and that snow will uh, roll on to the rest of the, uh, the environment. Early December. Clan Aldemar, what do they want? Yeah, I don't want to keep warm. Well, sucks to be you, Aldmer. Just keep on working there. Uh, we find a luxury goods items. Wow, that's that's actually good stuff. Could probably get a lot of money for it. So there wasn't anything in the bandit camp. Really? I would have thought bandits would have had some stuff on them. What's well, abandoned though, so who knows? And... Oh, I forgot about this one. Deserted village. Yeah, that thing prob probably has food in it and we, uh, I can actually uh, get my guys back. 
pillage. Yes, pillage, pillage. What what did we get? Did we get something good? Settlement title. Eh, still nothing to do with you. Oh, we have plus five from the uh, the village, I guess. To our uh, no, it's it's from our village. Fastidious and imaginative. Oh, we got a lot of stuff. We have horses now. One horse from yeah, like I said, you can eat your horses. It's not nice, but you can do it. Imaginative. This guy is really keen on discovery, so it'll probably be a better, much much better uh, surveyor than the other guy. Still don't have any tools though. Oh, and this our guy should probably go back and heal up a bit. Clans are idle. Yeah, I know this guy's still out. I should probably move him back and down actually because he's kind of useless out there. Uh, do some pressure thing, please. Maybe we can heal our. Um, Oh, our archer is not doing well. And you're gonna die soon. Can I train a farmer? Mm, yeah, you go back in settlement. It's 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 cold outside. It's not a pleasant place to be. You as well, actually, because it's it's kind of pointless to be there. Study profession. Winemakers, oil pressers, tillers could be useful. Clans are idle. Go back home as well. There's this guy still identifying stuff. Notice that they haven't killed off the uh, the bandits. They're still there. Uh, what does Raymond's want? What do you want, Mel dude? Oh, it's actually pigs, not cows. So the, the standard the default icon is cows. Uh, become obsessed with the idea of warm place instead of well, where, where are you? Yeah, go in there. Just go in there. It's forage for parchment, forage for cloth. Yeah, let's get some parchments out there. Sell my dial. Okay, make more treasure. Finish a turn. As you can imagine, it's not a fast game. It's I would say it's even slower than some forexes because you uh, have a lot of a lot more stuff to do in terms of micromanaging your people. And there, he's gonna be happy there. And our settlement. You you're inside, metal dude. Well, give me more treasure. Come on, come on. This guy's probably gonna need to go back home as well because well, uh, they're both out of food. Well, late. Oh, we we almost survived the winter actually. We're doing fine. But this guy's gonna be out of food soon, so let's get him home actually. Clan Raymond is happy. Go for Clan Raymond. And this guy was on a table with no food. Uh, let's make more treasure. I think you have a. Kind of a good idea what what the, at least what the beginning of the game is right now. Uh, I probably can't really showcase more of it uh, unless it's a five hour video. Expect a mild summer. That's nice. It's it's a game I can probably see myself enjoying for quite some time. I I like its mechanics. I like the way it's um, it evolves. Uh, the way the way the map changes. I mean, if it's a frigid winter, you will see it, like water freeze and the ability to just cross it. It's. It's given a lot of depth to it. Neat depth. The kind of depth that you wish a lot more games would have. So that being said, I'm not really going to uh, play this game further currently on the show. Maybe if I have the time, if... Um, again, I would like to remind you that I'm currently working to other jobs. One of them is basically a nine-hour job, so it's... There's... There's very little I can do to increase the uh, amount of time I can dedicate to these videos. Uh, I can have two, maybe three hours to myself a day. The rest is just taken up by work. 
So I, I can't really do much anymore. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Let's buy some pigs though. And let's buy some tools. And make that guy see. This is a bit of a problem with the... Uh, this thing won't fit well inside there. Uh, profession, uh, where is it? Surveyor. You're gonna be a surveyor, man. You're gonna be a super surveyor. Uh, so it's... Um, I'm gonna try to, to make it at least two shows, the uh, the podcast and the play now. With the, is it, they're the ones that I can actually make. Whereas with the other ones, I... Uh, I have some problems actually doing them in time. Hopefully I'll be able to fix that someday. Eh, it's not going to be in time soon though. I'm oh, sorry about that. But again, like I said, there is a show about what other challenges you should go on. Oh, there's a woodsman! No penalties. And would like to work in metal. Okay, we have a metal man. By the way, there is diploma the diplomacy. Uh, not a lot of it. Like they said, uh, like actually John Shaver said, diplomacy, not really all that what the game's about. It's just there. You can find the game right now on Steam for the low, low price of, I actually forgot to see exactly how much a thing this thing costs. It's, 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 it's not yet listed in terms of pricing, but I don't think it'll be 50 bucks. I think it'll be like 30 maybe possibly think so it's, it's like i've spent three and 3.4 hours in it and uh well three hours previously and the point four in the show it's it's a game i wish i had the time to investigate more but i don't maybe able one day maybe oh by the way you can also increase your clan limit and enable them by uh you know, spending fine cloth and stuff like that. So let's let's increase the clan limit. Now we have 18 clan. Ha <laughs> ha. A lot of clan. Goodbye, everybody.